For New York's discerning dog owners, mobile groomer Houndspa promises a range of luxurious treatments from the comfort of home. From routine services to indulgent blueberry facials and deep conditioning treatments, the company's dirty dog van aims to pamper pets. On June 15th, the van arrived at the opulent Westchester County home of Nicola and Brooklyn Pelts Beckham, ready to groom Nala, one of their five cherished dogs. The procedure of bath, blow dry, nail trim, teeth brushing, and ear cleaning was meant to be routine. However, according to a lawsuit filed this week, Nala, a nine-year-old chihuahua was returned in severe distress, struggling to breathe and exhibiting a pulsating chest. Despite being rushed to a nearby veterinary clinic, Nala passed away from what Nicola claims was intentional and malicious abuse. Nicola's grief was starkly visible in a haunting social media post featuring a white coffin surrounded by roses, which some mistook for a human's funeral. A close source reveals that Nicola, who has dedicated much of her life to rescuing dogs, is not seeking financial compensation, but rather aims to reform dog grooming regulations. Nicola and Brooklyn Beckham, who view their pets as family, are using their high-profile status to highlight the lack of regulation in the grooming industry, both in the U.S. and the U.K. In the U.S., dog groomers are often unlicensed, although some states offer certification. The U.K. faces a similar issue with a booming pet grooming market and no mandatory professional qualifications for groomers. Nicola's case has drawn attention to the need for stricter regulations. The couple claims that the groomer responsible for Nala had been previously flagged for complaints, including a troubling incident involving Nicola's brother's dog. Despite raising concerns with Houndspa owner Deborah Gittleman, the groomer Johnny Sabalas was reportedly allowed to continue working. Nala's death, allegedly caused by overheating and severe distress, has intensified calls for regulatory reform. Nicola's post-mortem account reveals that Nala was returned with neurological damage, fluid in her lungs, and a blue-tinged tongue signs of severe distress. This case mirrors several high-profile incidents in both the U.S. and U.K., highlighting the dangers of unregulated grooming practices. In the U.K., recent tragic cases have prompted petitions and calls for regulatory change, especially regarding the use of dryer cages. Town spa owner Deborah Gittleman has not commented publicly, but her background includes extensive experience in dog grooming and training. The Pelts Beckham's legal action aims to address the systemic issues in pet grooming and ensure that other animals are protected from similar suffering. Nicola's legal team emphasizes that the goal is to bring awareness and enforce stricter regulations. Any financial damages awarded will be donated to charity, reflecting Nicola's commitment to improving pet care standards. As this high profile case unfolds, it may well prompt a broader examination of grooming practices and protections for pets potentially leading to significant industry changes.